Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we are trying to get started, but we have already started talking, and the topic tonight is hot, 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 hot. Me and Nancy Drew got on these sweatshirts tonight, but it's going to be coming off because the topic, the tea is hot tonight, y'all. The tea is hot. The tea is hot. So let's start off with our original sound on. Nancy Drew, are you ready? Are yes. you ready? Are you ready? Hey, family. It's your girl, Nancy Drew. Yeah, Mama C. So do we go through the whole intro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or that's that to, to get another one to see if we do um if we get it until we get it good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Hey, I'm fa- oh. hey family. It's your girl Nancy Drew. And Mama C. And we're back with another episode of Two Black Mothers. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share. Oh, and don't forget that notification button and put your comments in the chat we'll be sure to get back with you y'all be quiet shut up that noise two black mothers, black mothers. okay right. so today right. we're gonna jump right in i don't know if you guys have seen but miss netta and charles have been on a run honey they are yes, out in yes. the streets, and whoever their manager is, we need to get with them because they they got songs, they on tour, they got free surgeries coming up. If you have not seen, <laughs> I, you know, see if you could, pull, Mama, see if you could pull that up for us. Yes, 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 yes. I'm pulling it up now. You sent it's, it to my um. Well, it's in your inbox. You sent it to my phone. You sent mm-hmm. it in my inbox. It's in your TikTok as well. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. You did. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wanted to. um. Yes. Yes. Charles, your lunch is ready. I've been waiting on you. Charles, your lunch is ready. There's some good ass food. I don't think it's the word. Charge, your lunch is ready. What happened? This is the last one I sent you. What that say down there at the bottom? This message was oh, it's not supported by this app. Let's see. You know what? TikTok. TikTok been David. I see it. No, I see it on my phone. I see it on my phone. But and here it is. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. People here that we're going to be doing some surgery on. Uh, let me give you a history. We- hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Charles is always agreeing on some shit. I mean, <laughs> when I seen him in that gown, I was like, "What's going on now? What is he getting done? He is always agreeing on some shit." everything she was like charles don't this taste good mm-hmm. it tastes good it tastes good like he has no opinion about nothing poor charles we have um significant weight loss um that we have to deal with and when we have weight loss we have loss of fat so loss of fat meaning loss of fat from the buttock Pick them up. And other areas and so we have to recoup fat in other areas to build a buttock that's what we intend to do okay so so we're going to take some fat, probably some tummy fat, and we're going to build a butt with that. Okay. Um, over here, we're going to take tummy fat. We're going to take um, maybe some chest fat, and we're going to eliminate it. We don't want to add anything to the butt. That's just a personal choice. And so we do that here at Gold. He, he don't want to be the. So I think we can yeah. do a lot of things. Um, Dr. Z is going to help with a lot of this uh, procedural uh, portion, and uh, I'll let her say something. Okay, so for this beautiful lady, she had a major weight loss. She had a gastric sleep, right? So she doesn't really have that much fat on her tummy. Mostly what she has. Now, why she keep grabbing that fat like that? However, I'm hoping she's going to get enough. She's going to have enough so we can get some of that fat. Mm -hmm. fat, And we're going to build her a nice butt. All right, guys. So stay tuned to this journey. Guys, are you excited, Miss Netta Charles? Miss Netta Charles. Awesome. awesome. Well, guys, stay tuned to their surgical journey. We can't wait to share. Um, the- 
Oh, Charles, your lunch is ready. Oh, my God. So they're having a double BBL, basically. Um, Charles and Miss Netta go under the knife. A new journey. This is probably all in cahoots with their new TV series that they got coming on. Um, the Zeus, the Z, the what channel? Oh, I don't know what station it's on, but I know their goals um, will do free surgeries for promo. So because they're hot right now, goals is doing this surgery for free. Um, well, we need to um, get hot so we can have a surgery, too. Well, the thing about goals is goals do surgery while you're awake. They don't. Oh, no, ma'am. They don't put you to sleep. They will give you a BBL awake. No, ma'am. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no. They will have to do okay. some extra promo to give me some anesthesia because I'm not doing anything awake. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes. And they, were, well, they record. When they do their surgery, they will record it because that is part of the agreement for the free surgery is to let them stream. Live? Mm -hmm. They'll be on their, their, their um, live Instagram doing the surgery. Jesus. I wonder if she's going to be saying, Charles, your lunch is ready. Mm, no, I tell you, that's probably should be number one <laughs> on the, um, <laughs> on iTunes. It's going to put his out of this spot, number one. It's going to put, it's going to do it. I'm telling you, that song is hot. That song is hot. Well, you know what? Congratulations to them both. They've been on the grind. They have really stretched this 15 minute of fame. To a good hour, um, thirty minutes. Exactly. <laughs> to a good hour. Their social media manager is on point. So I kudos, to whoever it is. Point. Her right here. I don't know whoever recorded this video. Is somebody talking? No, this somebody that just posted it. Um. Yeah. Somebody recorded yeah. the video. They was like amazing people here that we're going to be. Mm. I want to know who that social media uh, manager is. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Yes. Yes. I want to know. I want to know. Okay. All right. Well, what's some more tea? We got some more tea for the family. We got some more tea from the family. But make sure everyone is doing what, Nancy Drew? Subscribing, liking, and sharing. And make sure you're hitting that notification. And so, leaving them comments in the chat. Is Tiffany Haddish your friend? Yes, yeah. Tiffany Haddish is my friend. She be sending you stuff? Yeah, she sent me a message. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, hey. hey well, girl. I wait to have you on the show. That'll roll us into our next segment, which is Monique on the Shay Shay. Yes, yes. So... Monique, Auntie Mo, Auntie Mo has been spilling the tea, seems like, for the last 20 years now. Okay, girl. Um, we know when she said, she told us to boycott Netflix. And at the time, Netflix was what? $10.99 a month? Mm -hmm. I, I boycotted it now. About, yeah, exactly. That's what we need to do now. We need to boycott them because it's 20 damn dollars. Now, 21 I think it's like 21 22 dollars you and know Hulu. and I think no wait a minute wait a minute my Hulu is $7.99 my Hulu is $90 so I don't know if they did because... something to me. I don't know if they did something to Monique but they done did something to me and they have, <laughs> they have no. raped you they oh and they didn't use a condom girl mm -mm, mm -mm, $90 yeah. I remember when I first signed up that mother was like Forty nine. If the Hulu was that much, that's because you have the live package and you have the ESPN package. You have those deluxe bougie packages. Hulu, hit me up. <laughs> I know you have those big packages. That is why your your bill is so high because you have the full the the full rim of things. Where I have seven ninety nine, where you're only watching what they replay. You're not watching no live stuff. I don't be watching live stuff like that. Mm -mm. I can catch it on TikTok. 
you know, I think a lady says she she don't have cable. She just catch all her news on TikTok because you can now. You can just watch everything you need to watch on TikTok and call it a day. But let's mm-hmm. get into Miss Monique. Okay. So a couple of years ago, um, she wanted us to boycott uh, Netflix because of discrimination, basically D and I. Okay, discrimination, equality, all of that. She believed that she was worth more money than what they was offering her. Now, I kind of feel on that because if I am offered a job that I am qualified for, if your money, if you're not speaking the right the right coins, I'm not gonna take the job. And us working class people can do that. But she got backlashed when she said, no, more money than that. Why did our people do that? Why did our people did not stand up for her when she was asking for more money for um for uh for her 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 worthiness, her her work, her resume? She mm-hmm. was asking for more money. Why did we not stand behind her? Not saying we had to boycott, but other things came out of that. Um they didn't stand behind her because some of them are just appreciative to go to work. Um, they they are okay with not getting paid. They're not okay with not getting paid, but they don't want to say anything because they want to get the little check that they do get. You know, mm-hmm. they always tell about how they didn't get paid for this movie or they didn't get paid for that movie or they only got twelve thousand or they only got five thousand, but they did it. So. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't want to stand behind her and get blackballed. They want to be able to still get a check. So that's why they didn't stand behind her. Mm, They want to still be able to get their coins. And you can still stand up for your 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 livelihood and still get paid. You You can do that. You can still stand up. But Monique was singled out because she did say something. So she was singled out and she was allegedly blackball and i'm saying allegedly because other people haven't came out and said yes we blackball you we only know monique's side of the story we only know monique's side of the story even though miss monique auntie monique she be having receipts she will record your ass having a conversation with her on the phone like she did tyler perry she recorded his ass she Mm -hmm. had receipts but i want to get into this um this this video that you sent me and talk about it even though you don't put this name i didn't even recognize that this says monique had time today for tiffany haddish tiffany haddish is my friend on tiktok she follows me you okay. see i said because i see <laughs> tiffany i said oh is tiffany your friend oh yeah she is, is um, my friend she's in the topic yeah. today hot topic she is in the topic today yeah she's in the hot topics today and she's my friend but that doesn't mean i um I will, I will, if Monique say some truth, then I say, let's speak the truth. Okay. Cause she don't pay none of my bills, but here we go. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I remember our beautiful sister, Tiffany Haddish mm-hmm. did an interview with GQ mm-hmm. magazine. Mm-hmm. And this in my humble opinion is where we keep throwing each other under the bus. Mm-hmm. You're doing an interview with G. That's what we people do. <laughs> that is what we people do. Mm-hmm. Us people. In, in words of, I tell this to my brother, I say, you people, you people, we, you people, we do that. We throw each other under the bus. Why do we be driving the bus when we throw you up under it? Why is that? Because we want to look better. You said that calmly. I need you to dig deeper into that. I That's a question that I want us to discuss and i know it's a heavy topic it comes back it comes from slavery days it comes from that it comes from the willie lynch learning it comes from that but we won't get into it today because we answer monique let, let, let's go into it dq magazine and I, i'm assuming the journalist was a white person mm-hmm. and the conversation turned to monique and she said, well, I don't do business like Monique do business. And I'm glad I don't have that husband of hers. But she don't know your husband. And when I saw that, it's like, Tiffany, if you had a husband like mine, you may not have two DUIs. 
Mm. If mm. you had a husband like mine, you may not. Let's pause for the tea there. Let's, let's pause for it. If you had a husband like mine, your ass would be out here drinking and driving. That's right. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, because we don't know what Sydney doing in the background. Uh, I'm sorry. We, we don't know. But if he ever want to be our manager, he can give us a call. Who? Because he getting some Sydney. Sydney. Well, maybe not because she ain't getting no deals. Is, is, are they blackballing Sydney, her husband? Are they blackballing Monique or are they blackballing Sydney? Oh, uh, they oh well, they are together. They are one. You didn't know. They are and she says that a lot in this interview. She was like, "We, we, we." Oh, she always we. Said we. She says, that, "Oh God." She says that a lot. But you know, is she happy? I'm happy for. I have always been a a, a a huge fan of Monique. I really have. But that don't mean I support everything she say. But mm. I have been a huge fan of hers. Let's move on. Be caught up in what looks like you could have been grooming a child. Mm -hmm. And I say all of that with no judgment. But when you speak about having a husband like mine, you open up the door. And I'm saying to you, if you had one like mine, you may not sit in these positions that you can't explain the next day. Right. Or it's a hard way to go. So once again. Well, she doesn't even have a husband, let alone like yours. Well, well damn it now. You said it. Damn it now. You said it, not me. I sipped on that, Shannon. <laughs> that was a sip. That required a sip. I remember. I oh, Shannon B, he be, he be with the T a lot for me. Like he be with the shade. I'm sorry, not the tea, the shade. Like he be throwing shade. Well, he was just saying the obvious. She don't have a husband. No, he be throwing shade too much. He be throwing shade like the the Atlanta housewives. Anyway, let's go back into it. Let alone like yours. Well, well, damn it. Now you said it. Why you went back into it? Go to the next one. I sipped on that, Shannon. That was a sip. It's not done. Was that it done? required a sip. Yeah, yeah. Let's start it I off. remember our beautiful. Oh, sister. okay. All right. What was the next one? That was mm -hmm. it for Monique. Mm -hmm. That was it for Monique. You? Oh, you sent me some more. Yeah, it was another one. Where's that? Oh, right here. This one. Yeah, you might have sent it to me. Yeah, I sent this one to you about um. What she was talking about. Um, when I saw her. First of all, I, I want to say something about their pay. Now, this ain't the first time the, the pay has been brought up about Black actresses, um, talent, Black talent. Viola Davis said it as well. Like, she says, everybody says she's the Black male street, but she doesn't get the Black male street money. And she like, pay me the money that you pay male street if I'm the black male street, if I have that same talent. So she's been talking about the money as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know why everybody is like, ooh, Taraj is now bringing up something that we didn't know. And this don't, and this, in this money of black females, it's not just in Hollywood, it's in corporate America as well. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, um, because somebody will take the money, it makes it kind of hard. It's just like in my field of real estate. So an agent is supposed to get 3%. But there's agents that take 1%, 2%. So then it makes it where, like, for instance, I got a listing coming up and he called me and said, hey, can you take less than 3%? Because an agent told me they'll take a percent and a half. And it's because other individuals are willing to take less. It makes it harder for the people that know their work. Like, but we pay, okay, so where we have a federal minimum wage, there is no law that says you have to pay at least a minimum of 3%? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. That should be the law. Like, that should be the law. Like, that's your, your 3%. Because... Yeah, if you're closing a deal on a $1.2 million house and you have a 3% um, fee, you can pay, pay well. 
But if you're closing a deal on something that's not that large and you did, you had to show 20 houses to somebody who was bougie, but only had a budget of 250 and this housing market out here, you can get nothing for 250, nothing, mm -hmm. nothing for 250. Not even in the state of Mississippi, you're not getting anything for 250. So when you have to show house, show house, show house, you put in the work, you pound the payment, your minimum should be 3%. That should be the minimum. Mm -hmm. but and then you all need to put a tip on there. But unfortunately, it's agents out there that are hungry and mm -hmm. will negotiate down their commission. And so it makes it harder for individuals that want their full commission. So it's kind of the same thing in the acting. If it's a role come up and they're like, we're paying 50000 and you like, I'm worth 125. And they like, mm -hmm. well, I'm about to call Nancy Drew because she'll take that 50. Then <laughs> now I done took the job. So, you know, that's why they have to take them. I mean, Taraji was saying, I forgot what movie she said it was, but she said that she made, um, I want to say she said 150, but she said, you know, her her people get 20 or 30 percent hey. off 150. Then taxes mm -hmm. take they amount, and she said at the end of it, all she has enough for is to pay her bills. Benjamin Button. Mm -hmm. Yep, she was talking about Benjamin Button. Talking oh, about Benjamin Button. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, what she got nominated for an Oscar for? Has she won an Oscar? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She was nominated for an Oscar. She hasn't won yet. She will though. She will if she continues to work, if she continues to show up, as Jay Z said, if you continue to show up. But it's so hard, it's so hard, and then they have to live a certain lifestyle. Thing right. it, it requires certain things to to work in that industry. You have to have an agent. You know, you have to have security when you go into certain certain areas. You have to have certain things that comes out of your pocket. It's not written in, in your contract. It's not written in your contract. And Monique was saying, I don't have a clip, but on Club Shay Shay, she was also saying how she wasn't treated or she didn't have the best um, of treatment when she was filming um, the Christmas movie, the Black Christmas movie she was in. Um, what was that movie called? Next Christmas or... Some Christmas movie she was in with Danny Glover, and I don't know the name of it, but it is a really good, it was a good movie. She made that character. She made that movie. She was. And she was saying how she was just supposed to do a cameo in the movie, but she extended her, her speaking lines because her, we, her and daddy, was good friends of, and I say daddy because she referred to her husband as daddy was good friends with one of the with the producer of the movie so out of her kind heart she decided to extend her roles and her speaking lines in the movie and her part was the funniest part like her part made the movie her part did and so she was saying there it was in a trailer that blew up on set the trailer blew up on set she said, thank God they wasn't in the trailer, but it blew up because they decided to cut budgets and put in those cheap trailers. Or a lot of times the production companies, they use their friends to allow their friends to come and set up um, their trailers for the talent. And if they're not at to par, they're mm -hmm. not standard and they need to be for talent the top call list talent to the backstage people to the um to the to the to the uh what do they call when the extras they need to provide great standards for them too it needs to be all around it should be great working conditions like they should have hr out there they should have people out there looking at these things are we working in a safe environment they should have that but mm -hmm. They don't. They don't. So let's go into what Monique said about um, Taraji. Taraji. Mm -hmm. 
broken mm -hmm. on those platforms. It was painful to watch. However, Taraji and I had a conversation over a decade ago. Yes. In my trailer mm -hmm. when I was doing the Monique show. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, you got to keep on getting it until your turn comes. And I said, Taraji, most of us die before our turn comes. We got to ask for it right now. Now, I understand that because there was a time I felt the same way. Exactly. Because that's what I was told. Right. You just keep going and we'll get them the next time. We'll get them the next time. We'll get them the next time. And the next time never comes. And then you see our sister broken, sitting on those platforms. Now, when I said it, when I said it. Why didn't it get the traction when you said it? that when she said it now all of a sudden everybody is coming and i and i don't have a problem i'm mm -hmm. glad yes but if you said this a decade ago and i yes. remember you saying it over a decade ago why didn't it get the traction why didn't it get the support why wasn't it propped up when monique said it i think there's a few reasons why number one it was the hold on i believe why okay because Monique said it about Netflix. Uh -huh. Netflix is a machine, a machine compared to Oprah. They still a machine. When Taraji said it, it was about the color purple. Uh -huh. Our people. Uh -huh. Who behind her saying, oh, this is wrong conditions. This is wrong conditions. Our people. But they don't say that about Netflix. Who produced, who was the studio for the Color Purple? Uh, who was the studio for the Color Purple? The color purple? Uh -huh. Warner Brothers. Uh, okay. Warner Brothers is the studio for Color Purple. But who did they blame? Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Oh, it was Oprah Winfrey's fault. That Taraji didn't have the money she wanted. Mm -hmm. That they didn't have food. They didn't have rental cars. Mm -hmm. a driver. They didn't have a driver. It was Oprah Winfrey's fault. Not Warner Brothers, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. Warner Brothers is responsible for that. Warner Brothers should have been bought into the thing. Monique said Netflix, and all of a sudden, we crazy. Oh, we can't go up against Netflix. Well... Um, what was the words that Taraji used? I can't remember. Did she say Oprah? She never said Oprah. What she, she said? She never said Oprah. She said she had she was turning down some parts. She even thought about turning down the color purple. She never said Oprah. She said she called Oprah about the cars and that it was fixed. The situation mm -hmm. was fixed. The thing is, she shouldn't have never had to call Oprah. Right. Because one brother knows those are the rules. They get driven to the studios. Oh, well, I know. I well, work in the industry. Also, it's kind of like a double edged sword because taraji could have simply when everybody started to roll the ball of oprah 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 ain't doing you right she could have said no i was talking about warner brothers that's what monique would have said monique would have made it yeah. clear this is who i'm talking about instead she kind of said oh y'all painting a narrative um it was cold when we were on that um that balcony taking pictures and she didn't make it clear so it's kind of like you complaining but then when they put it on this black woman, you don't necessarily say, no, it wasn't her, it was Warner Brothers. And so yeah. that's between I agree. And Monique would have been like, I oh, I'm talking about Oprah. Oprah ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm talking about Warner Brothers. And then that just would have been that. But um, she want to keep her check coming the next job she gets. So she didn't say Warner Brothers. She know Oprah ain't but hiring for the next gig. Is <laughs> You know, T.R.A. messed that up. Mm -hmm. messed that up. But I really don't believe that that movie what, did what it did because of Taraji. I, I really don't think that. I think because black people don't read. Color purple? The color purple. Black <laughs> people don't read. They didn't, they didn't read the fact that it said it's based off a musical. 
they didn't read that. Mm-mm. And then when they friends showed well, they up in the TikTok Color world, Purple, the musical, that's what it should have said. Color Purple, the musical in the title. Because yeah. what you just saying, the Color Purple, people automatically think back to the movie. Nobody was thinking about Fantasia on Broadway. Um, mm-hmm. So Mm-mm. that's where the, the misconception came in at. And I say it probably still would have did good if it wasn't for social media. Um, uh, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. social media kind of took away because it had a smoking um Christmas you. So, you know, it would have kept going, but people went to the movies and made their videos and said, Oh no, it's a musical, didn't like it, walked out, had mm-hmm. to leave. Um, and so I myself yeah. have not seen the movie. Because I don't watch musicals. And if TikTok didn't tell me it was a musical, I probably would have spent my money to go see it because I like the color purple, the movie. But I'm yeah. not a person. But I know Mama said And it was definitely different. Yeah. Well, I am. I'm not a musical person. I'm not. I like I liked this one. I really did. I enjoyed the movie, the color purple that was played in 2024. And I enjoyed the one that came out in 1985 as well. But I enjoyed the one that came out in 2024. Um, but am I a musical person? No, like for plays. I'm not a musical person for plays. Like Tyler Perry plays. I love Tyler Perry to death. I love his movies. But when they start the singing, I fast forward. See, I've never, I like that. I've never seen a Tyler Perry play. See, yeah, you wouldn't even go. Like, I would support them. I, I want to support us. So I'll go and I'll tolerate it if I go live and I can't fast forward it. But if it's on a DVD or if I'm watching it on TV and I can fast forward through that sucker, oh, it's going through. It's going through. I'm not that person who would sit and watch the songs. Because they're sad songs. I don't I don't want to hear a sad song. But you would but the color purple... Yes, I it was did. three songs within the first eleven minutes. Hmm. Huh? Yes. Oh, I, I can't remember. And it wasn't as much singing as everybody thought it was, though. But I also wanted some parts that was in the original to come back. I did, mm-hmm. and they didn't do that. I think they rushed the movie like the whole movie into this compact thing. And I think they missed some of the parts that we truly enjoy. That is a part of our culture. Yes, they got the hoppo. You told hoppo to beat me. They they got that. You knew they was going to put that in there. Um, but some stuff, um, they meant like the, the, the dinner scene. Hmm? I think they should have just made another movie. Part two. It, it, I mean, I, I don't know. Part two, <laughs> I mean, just another movie in general, like a whole nother musical. Like they didn't even have to take it from the color purple if you were going to make changes to the original story. You should just made a whole new story. Yeah, but I mean, they took the play and made it a musical. Mm-hmm. I mean, made it a movie. They took the play, the one that was on Broadway for years. Mm-hmm. They took well, not years, but years. Um, mm-hmm. They took that and made it into a movie. So if I didn't see it on Broadway, my yeah, so mom saw it on Broadway. Huh? Your mom saw it on Broadway? Mm-hmm. And she said she fell asleep. But <laughs> she said she fell asleep doing the movie. I mean, doing the play on Broadway. But she did see it. She went to New York and she saw it. Um, and it was long. Um, but she saw that. Now, I didn't get her take. We didn't have a conversation on it. You know, she was younger. When she saw it, now you, she gonna be like, "What?" Yeah, you know, but she did say she remembers she fell asleep on it at the at the Broadway. But they took that Broadway play, they put it into a movie. It was different. It, it was different. It was it was different. But I enjoyed it, and I support my people. So yes, I'm going to go watch it. Yeah. So let's get back into Miss Monique and um, Taraj. Okay. The messenger. I should just be grateful I got invited to the party. You a big, fat, black woman. How dare you be the one? And then on top of that, you're saying names. 
You're saying Oprah's name out loud. You're saying Tyler's name out loud. You're saying Lee's name out loud. You're saying Lionsgate out loud. That's not what we do. We say they, we say the people, we say the studio, we say the producers. How dare you actually say our heroes' names? You're very specific. These are our heroes. How could you say their names out loud? Because they're the ones that did it. And if I don't say it out loud, now you see a woman that is swallowing that pain, that is so stressed out, then you see our sister Taraji P. Henson sit on that platform. And I love that baby, because she's a beautiful spirit. Mm -hmm. But to see her that broken, what our community was saying was, we have a hard time, some of us, we have a hard time seeing a strong Black woman with a back straight and a chin up and a strong black man standing by her side. We have a hard time accepting that, but we can. I disagree with that. I, I disagree with that. I don't think that's why they, they, they had a backlash toward Monique and what she was saying. I, I really, I really disagree with that, but let's go. Well, because, think, go ahead. I think because she's saying that because Tyler Perry said, I'll sit down with you, but not with your husband. Um, mm -hmm. And so she feel like my husband is my manager and he won't allow anybody to disrespect me. And that's mm -hmm. why you don't want him to be present. But I think Monique could hold her own. Oh, I think she like, can. I really do. I, I think she could have walked in there and probably did a better... Maybe. Maybe she rowdy. Maybe, you know, maybe he is the, the calmness in Calm her person. Maybe, I think maybe like hold on, you know, when he step in and talk because she may start throwing drinks or something, you know. She seems mm -hmm. like she's real rowdy. Yeah, she do. She throw like she sounds like she throw hands. Like she from Baltimore. She from Baltimore. And she sounds like she throws hands and he may be calm, the one who calmed her down. So I really believe. She could have went in there and and, and handled talent by herself. Say the truth. But go ahead. Except yeah. seeing a black woman broken. Now it's really serious because she's falling apart. Our community had a hard time with those two things. And when I would hear people say, why is her husband there? Why is he there? It's a sad day when we're questioning why a black man would stand with his black woman. So when you hear Black women saying we're the most undervalued, disrespected, underserved, mistreated, violated, exploited, we get all of that. Then you see a Black man standing with his Black woman saying, not on my watch. And you hear some Black men saying, why, why her husband got to be there? We're in a sad state of affairs when we begin to question Black love and Black unity. So they didn't want to hear me, some of them, because of what I look like, because I spoke about their heroes, and because they saw that man standing right there strong. I'm not the first one, but we- So, uh -oh. they now want uh -oh. us to post like uh -oh. this. Sorry. So, her husband, her manager? Mm-hmm. But, so do she never address when people say why your husband here? Why does she not say, Oh, he's my manager? She do. Or do she say he's my husband? She say he her manager too. Oh, because I, I didn't hear her say that in her explanation. She mm -hmm. was explaining why the black man should stand beside the black woman instead of saying he's my manager. He well, works for me as well. well. I don't know if it's in this clip, but she said it during the interview. When I oh. saw her. Did you watch? Did you watch the interview? The whole um, you, well, you, you, know, I got, you know I got ADHD. Uh, I watched the portion. I tried to, but you know, I was working. So <laughs> I tried to go in and out the meetings watching it. And I had it on. Um, but I had to mute it a couple of times and pause it a couple of times because of the beating. Um, but okay, let's go in. When this is I a long her, clip, too. Where was she at? Picture that they thought she should look like so easily that we start thinking, oh, this is the first one. This is the first one. Her name is Claudette Colvin. 
Okay, wait a minute. Somebody, somebody said question. this about well, here's some black Ms. men Carter. saying. Now who's Claudette? Why, who is why her husband gotta be there? I heard somebody post about Claudette was is somebody who was getting mistreated doing um filming. She was uh she was a writer, but they put her down as a production uh PA, a production assistant. So let's go into that. She got paid a production assistant, but she was a writer for SNL. Okay. A black writer for SNL. And we know about Miss SNL. Okay, let's see. We're in a sad state of affairs when we begin to question black love and black unity. So they didn't want to hear me, some of them, because of what I look like, because I spoke about their heroes, and because they saw that man standing right there strong. I'm not the first one, but we get washed away in history so easily that we start thinking, oh, this is the first one, this is the first one. Her name is Claudette Colvin. And she's not the first one, but she was before Rosa Parks. Mm -hmm. But because Claudette Coven did not fit the picture that they thought she okay, should so look no, like, she was dark person. skin and she had coarse hair. And because the, the organization, I believe it was the NAACP, mm -hmm. did not think she would be accepted by the white people, mm -hmm. they had to get somebody that they said the white people could accept. We keep repeating the same thing because what I said, it's no different than what anyone else is saying. Not, not at all. Right. It was the messenger. And it was the way. So is she saying because she's overweight or is she saying because she's dark skinned? Both. Okay, because uh Miss uh and not and what's the lady? Viola Davis is dark skinned and she says the same thing. Well, Monique saying that if somebody come with us a good big brand deal, I got to send you in to do the negotiating because you're a little lighter. But That's I'm also bigger. So we fuck anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get a third person. We got to get a third person because goddamn, I'm big. Okay. Okay. And you're not. So what the fuck? We go in there together. Together we can do this. No matter. Together. Yes, yes, yes. But what she's saying has some truth to it. I wanted to get in that because it was before um, Miss Rosa Parks, they picked someone else. This goes back to the Willie Lynch learning. This goes back to that when they broke us apart. They broke our mind and how now we are um, colorized and we we got to be light skinned uh -huh. to get this. We got to be fair skinned. We got to be brown skinned. We got to be this toothpick. We got to do this. That's us doing that because of a long time ago, of the slave days. We've always been like this. And it's just a cycle that repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats. So I do agree with her about the NAACP doing that, picking their ones to had, to had, who had to speak. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Keep going. That I'm not putting my head down. I'm not shedding one tear. I'm not going to say, I don't want to say their name because I might get in trouble. I'm going to say all of it. Right. Because when you really mm -hmm. think about that little girl coming behind you, what I don't ever want that baby to see is me broken. I don't want her to see me falling apart. And I understand it. I understand how it can happen, Shannon, when you may not have a foundation at home, right. when you may not have that man at home or that woman at home, whomever, that support person saying you're not crazy. Right. I got you. Come on. We're going to go through this. We're going to get through this. So for us, if we start taking things for what they are and get out of our emotions, we would be so far along. Do you believe punishment? Mm. Punishment is not only meant for the perpetrator, but it's also to deter others from said acts. You see it. Do you believe the punishment that was bestowed upon Monique was not only to punish you, you saw it. but to deter others from saying what you said? Well, Shannon, see here, and, and, and I'm going to answer that. So question, in the in the um interview did she say she got receipts of someone telling people not to work with her 
I told you I ain't see the whole interview. I didn't see that part. Now I did see, I did see a um a video clip of 50 Cent speaking upon this. And 50 Cent asked Tyler Perry, well, why didn't you say, why did you say Monique was difficult to work with? And he said, I never said that. Tyler Perry said, I never said Monique was difficult to work with. And 50 Cent said, well, did you ever say Monique wasn't difficult to work with? Did you ever try to spin it back around to say Monique wasn't terrible to work with? So even though you wasn't part of the crime, you drove the getaway car or you witnessed the crime and you didn't say anything about it. Uh -huh. it's, just not, it's just going back to Taraji and Oprah. Uh, if you don't say anything, then they spin the narrative. So if he mm -hmm. never did say she difficult to work with, if you didn't come out and say, hey, I don't know who said that, but it was me. She was a pleasure to work mm -hmm. with. If you never clear that up, then you're right. You're in the car. You might be in the back seat. You might be holding on to the tailpipe, but you're in the car. Yeah. And you're going to be accused, accused of the crime. You're going to jail just like the people who was holding the gun to the head. Yeah. Yeah. Did we finish this yet? Yes. But sometimes we act like we don't know our history. See, back in the day when they had us in chains, mm -hmm. they would beat one real good. Right. Mm -hmm. But in front of the others. In front of the others. And they let everybody know what you don't want is that type of ass whooping. Right. So mm -hmm. what they said was, we're going to beat Monique really good. We're going to sit her down. And, and, and I made it public. Financially, my family took a hit, Shannon. And when I tell you we took a hit, right. we took a hit. When I saw her, yeah, to rock. that was sad. Mm -hmm. That was that's sad. That's sad that her family took a hit for speaking up. But here's the thing: why? Well, her family, her family took a hit from Tyler Perry and Oprah doing their part because she got offered the Netflix deal after the whole Precious thing and the that whole thing, the whole coming out against Oprah and Tyler Perry. She still got offered the, the, the Netflix deal. She got offered the money. Later. Yep, years later, but it wasn't the money that she she wanted. Right, because she said Chris and the rest of them was getting 20 million, million. Netflix special. Yep. And the Netflix offered her 150,000. Mm -hmm. You know, it was in the thousands where other people was getting millions. Mm -hmm. it, it was in the thousands. So, you know, they took a hit. You still got a deal, but you didn't take the deal because you didn't think you was worthy, but were your family struggling then? Well, see, that's the thing. You either got to stand on business or not. Uh, if I take the deal, then they believe that that is my worth. And if I know my worth, then I'm not taking the deal, regardless of my family struggling. No, no, no. Well, maybe we see it, but <laughs> maybe That's we not... see it because I, if I am, unemployed, hmm? if I am unemployed, okay, okay. unemployed, mm -hmm. and my mortgage is about to go to a a foreclosure. Oh, boo boo! I'm going to work. Oh, I understand. You got to do what you got to do, but I'm just to saying something that else. <laughs> yeah, that the the. The reason she didn't take it is because she felt like, hey, y'all give Kevin Hart this, y'all give Chris Tucker this, y'all give Chris Rock this, you give um, all these other comedians these specials when I was on Queens of Comedy. I was a big comedian, um, and you offered me 150000 If I take that 150, I set the bar for anybody else to call. If Cinemax mm -hmm. call, HBO and they know that Netflix gave me 150,000 why everybody else getting millions like so she had to make the decision whether it's, it's mm -hmm. my integrity or these bills and and she was going with her she was standing on business I'm not taking that 150 we're going to foreclosure in this month we'll start selling pies out the door, back door <laughs> uh, but what I won't do is go up on the stage and tell jokes for 150,000 now I will say I don't know if she purposely did this or not but when they did end up paying her, her special was whack. Um, it was. I, 
It and I don't was. think that was on purpose. Like, you know, let me make y'all pay me for some whack treatment because it definitely was whack. It was worth 150000 and she got paid some million. So uh, I don't know if that was like... But she got paid the, the lawsuit too. They settled that lawsuit. So not only, I don't know if the special was included in her lawsuit that she had to go do a special or they had to give her a special, but in the lawsuit, she got paid some money in that lawsuit because she won her lawsuit. Um, and the special they had to pay her for the special, which was I I agree with you. Um, allegedly, it, it was whack. No, not allegedly. It was. I seen it. It, it, was, it, was, it was whack. And I want her. Yeah, to know. I've seen better. For her. I her, but it was whack. And I yeah. hope that you didn't do that on purpose because now ain't nobody else calling because it was whack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I, think, I just don't think I, I don't know I think she need to I don't know maybe she needs to go and hit that road a little bit more because I know for comedians they go tour in small little settings to get more um uh, what she was torn she no, was touring. I seen her I was, you see her um maybe it was two years ago she she had a comedy show in Atlanta um uh, I went to it. She was better in person. She was on that um that Netflix that special. Again. She was better in person than she was on that Netflix special. Yeah. So maybe she was, need to go to her and get get a crowd back together. And I think she do to her now. I think she do. Um, mm -hmm. we just don't see her. She said that she has some stuff coming up. I mean, first of all, that movie she did with um. What's the movie? Oh, the man. Yeah. That was that a good movie. movie. That movie was good. She did that. I'm like, I'm she watch that. did that. What's the name of it? I'm gonna watch that. Break in. Hey, did you make up some stuff? It was not called no break in. Oh. Uh, it was just one word. It was it a was one like word movie. Reading or the reading, the reading, the reading, yes. because they was about um reading palms or reading yeah. something. Yeah, it was the reading. It was the reading. Yes, it was good. That was really good, and I'm glad BT did that and um and had Sydney Brothers production. You you notice that who was the production company on that? Yes, we were her husband, her daddy, allegedly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I saw it at the end. I said, "Oh, you best to put that in the deal. You better put that in the deal because that, that that movie was good. Y'all should go see it. Go see it." But yeah, it was um Shay Shay. I don't I don't think um this will get as many views as Cat Williams mm -hmm. um on Club Shay Shay. I think Monique has been spilling spilling the tea about everything that's going on for uh some some years now and i really don't mm -hmm. think she has anything new to share like i want to hear some new tea i want to hear some new tea what's going on like cat williams gave us the new tea what's going on well she ain't been dealing with no people so she ain't got no tea yeah oh i didn't show you because i couldn't send it to you because for some reason, I can't stand on the computer, but we don't have time to talk about it now. Let's talk about it tomorrow. Um, so let's talk, let's talk about it tomorrow. But she talked about Kevin Hart. Who, Money? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I missed that. Kevin Hart. And let me see. Let me turn this down because I get it. I'm getting the echo. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so she talks about Kevin Hart and how Kevin Hart helped her and her family when her was up against the wall and taking a stand on business and not getting paid. Kevin Hart wrote a check to her and her family to help her out. She paid the money back, and then they were supposed to do a special together. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to do something together back her her talk show, and Mon and Kevin Hart manager. Call Monique and said, yeah. Oh, Kevin Hart don't want to do any business with you. And so it felt like it's a backlash. So she did have something to say about Kevin Hart. She talked about that. But what I want to do, I'll probably try to watch the special 
night. I want you to do it in the day tomorrow and we'll talk about it. But I can promise you, she's not going to get the views that Kat, Kat Williams got. I wonder what she gets the views that Steve Harvey got. Steve Harvey got 10 million views on Club Shay Shay. You know, I never even watched that one. I didn't even know Steve been there. Yep, Steve yeah. was there, but Steve didn't, didn't spill the tea like Cat did. Mm. Steve didn't do that. He was positive. Well, yeah, well, we'll cover Kevin tomorrow and Monique, and I also sent you a video about um, what's going on in Jamaica currently. Yeah, we'll cover, we'll cover that, tomorrow. that tomorrow as well. All right. Okay, family. Now it's time. To say goodbye to all my family. Charles, your lunch is ready. All right, until we meet again. All right. Love. Make sure you do what? Subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification button. Oh. And leave your comments below. We'll be sure to get back with you. Peace. Peace.